five is my is my first contemporary novel in a while. Uh, I was doing a, a historical series, a character named uh, Matthew Corbett, set in the colonial era. Uh, but you know, I was uh, actually in a in a pizza restaurant, and I was listening to a song, uh, and the song was "Bittersweet Symphony" by The Verve, and I started thinking how a song can affect a person, and how how one song affect can affect people in different ways. And so I started, and that just sort of started going. Um, I'd wanted to do a contemporary novel because uh, I wanted to get back into that, into the into the current uh, present era, era. But um, uh, this song just spoke to me, and and it, I, I said, you know, this is what it, this is what I've been kind of waiting for to spark to spark the creative process, uh, and I really didn't know what I was going to do with it. Uh, I mean, I really didn't know how the song was going to evolve into a, into a book, but it really did. It took off. It spoke to me, and I thought, you know, the power of music to me is, is fascinating. It's fantastic. So really the book is about the power of music. Uh, actually, the story developed first, and then uh, as the story developed, I, I, it, was, it was necessary for me to write some lyrics and actually to, for, the song, for the band to, to, to perform. But actually, I had to sort of hear the music too, so I didn't really write the whole song, but I did write the, uh, of course, the lyrics, and it was like writing poetry. And I've, I've tried to write poetry before, and it just it's been, you know, I'm not a very successful poet. But actually, the songs turned out to be pretty, pretty good. Uh, I think it turned out to be what I needed, and I'm just really excited about it. Um, I mean, I think it's a very strong story. I think it's one of the strongest stories I've ever written because I felt so connected to the characters. I felt so connected to the well. I, I mean, the song, the song spoke to me at a particular time in my life that I needed. I needed to hear that. And um, anyway, just a very, very strong book and a very strong story for me uh, to connect with. The Five is about um, the band is the Five, and they've been on the road a long time. Uh, they are all survivors of many different bands, uh, and they've suddenly come to the real, realization that you know it's probably not going to work out. They're probably going to need to go on and, and do some other things. Um, but so they decide, as, as they're about to break up, they decide they're going to write one last song together. And it's going to be a community song, a communal song. Everybody's going to have a por write a portion of the song. And even the manager, even the drummer doesn't write songs. You know, everybody's going to have a part of the song. So when they do that, it awakens something that does not want this song to be written. Because they don't realize... What, what the song is going to mean to someone in the future. So, so something awakens that does not want this song to be written. And it uses a, uh, an Iraqi veteran, a uh, sniper, to stop the song from being written by killing uh, the members of the band one by one. Uh, well, there are supernatural elements to the book in that this particular force does not want this uh, song to be written. And that goes back to what I think about the power of music, that the power of music goes far beyond uh, um, a particular person. It goes from person, it can go from person to person far, far into the future. So this particular supernatural element does not want this the song to, to, to be finished because the song is going to have repercussions in the future that, um, that will be for good, uh, for, the, for the purpose of good. But, you, but nobody understands that yet. The band certainly doesn't understand it. Uh, but there's definitely a supernatural element to the book. Well, I think there are horror elements, and there are, particular, there are horror, horror elements in the way the uh, uh, Iraqi veteran is, is manipulated by the supernatural force. And so, I, so yeah, I, do, I, I could do consider it a horror novel. Uh, uh, there are certainly horrific elements in it. A lot of research. I, mean, I, did, I, did, I had to do a lot of research um, a lot of military research, a lot of research uh, on uh, snipers, uh, marine snipers. I wanted that to be as accurate as possible. A lot of research, of course, in the music business uh, and just what it was like, just what it's like to be on the road, the grind of the road. The grind of the road, but yet, you know, you've got that, you've got that uh, maybe two hours where everything comes together in the club. Uh, and it's funny, I was talking to a friend of mine who actually books bands. I said, well, you know, tell me something about these clubs that they would be booked into. And he said, the first thing he said is, he says, well, all of them, every, all the walls are always black. I said, really? Yeah. He said, he said every, every club this, these, this tricky band would be, would be booked into, it would all be black, you know. 
So it gave me a list of, of clubs where they might be booked into in different cities, and I went with that. So the real place is actually, every place they're booked into is a real place. You know, you, you, you get up and you do it all over again the next day, and you, you know, you're, you're booked into some places that your gigs are going to be. You know, the audience may not understand what you're doing. They may react in, in a hostile fashion, <laughs> as they do in a couple of instances in the book. But you just keep going because that's your joy. I mean, and, and the, the real question the band has as they move along is, uh, and my, my lead character, whose name is Nomad, uh, John Charles is his real name, but his question is, how long do you stay with something? How much, how much time do you give it before you realize it's time to move on to something else? He really doesn't want to move on to something else. He wants it to be successful. He wants the entire band to be successful, but, but they're, they're a little bit worn out. You know, they've been through a lot of bands and a lot of disappointments and uh, a lot of near misses. Uh, so the interesting thing that happens in the story is that, that as, as a member of is killed in their band, another member is killed, not to give anything away, but they become more popular because the media gets hold of the story. And it's like, you know, you're, you're becoming popular, you're becoming more popular because the members of your band are dying. And so uh, it, it causes a real conflict for, for a nomad because suddenly they find themselves on the verge of great success. At least the media sees them as being successful and their, their, their agent and manager sees them as being successful because they're getting all this media attention uh, because of death, not necessarily because of their talent. As Nomad says, we've been doing this all along. We haven't changed what we're doing. We've not changed what we're doing. It's just suddenly we're getting this media attention because of this, this terrible thing that's happening to the band. Well, after I finished the book, uh, I thought, you know what? I really would like to write a song that expressed sort of and sort of summed up what I felt about the book. The, the theme of the book. And I think the, the theme is getting through, getting through what you need to get through, whatever it is you need to get through, okay? And so I, I you know, like I say, I've, I've you know, never really written poetry or a song, but I thought, let's try it out, let's see. And so I wrote the lyrics and uh, um, the band, Dorian Lives, yes, did the music. Great job, did a super job. So I was amazed when I first heard it. You know, I thought this really does sound good, not just for, for my lyrics, but the music sounds so good. And, uh, and so I did, I wanted to sum up my feelings about the book when I finished, when I finished it. When I finished it, it wasn't, um, you know, so usually when you finish a book, it's done and, and it's all out. In this case, it what really wasn't completely all out until I think I had written my song. And of course the song that, that the communal song that they write in the, uh, in the book, I had to write, you know, I had to, to do the words and as, as, as each member came up with as each member of the band comes up with, the, with their part of the song there's something in their life they have to deal with and so, so all, all the lyrics that, that they're writing the song has is a cleansing for them too it's a cleansing um, it's something in their life they have to get past and I think that's what Darkest Nine is about it's about getting through getting past getting to the other side